Hello. Hi everyone. Mingo Adventures here. And today we are exploring Morgan's Bay. Planning to go to Kaimouth, which is also close to Morgan's Bay, and then visiting a local brewery that is also here. And our little guy is sleeping. Let's see how he does in the car. and rough we would really recommend you coming with a little bit of a higher car we actually did it with our car but it was very stressful and i think i got a hundred extra gray hair but my husband is a really good driver are we gonna stop here because we really can't take this road it's really bumpy and hello are you awake what are you in your hands, Yoni? What is toy? Oh, what do you see? They see only grasses. It's all the grass. You like picking the grass. Huh? Where are we going? We're going to see the beautiful cliffs of Morgan Bay.
Okay, so this is the main beach, Morgan's Bay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we should have had our uh, flip-flops on now. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there's the cliffs. We were right there, just now, right there. We're now at the big restaurant here in Morgan's Bay. It's at the Morgan's Bay Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go find a seat. On our way to Kai Mouth, so apparently there's like a secret garden. My brother-in-law told us about this like picnic spot, very nice picnic spot at Kai Mouth. So we're on our way there now, and we're gonna see if we can find it, and then we're gonna have some lunch. <laughs> this is the ferry that goes over the Great Kai Mouth. Uh, there's a Kai River. Um, but it's closed today, so we cannot take the ferry over. But I just saw now it's 150 rand to take your car over from the other side. I mean, this is actually the only way that you can get to that side and drive around down there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very uh, Africa for you. It's not like you know, the ferries in Korea or some other places. But um, yeah, I think it would have been an awesome experience uh, to go over this ferry. Last night we looked on the website and it said that the ferry is open. Mm. So you can't trust the website, so you have to call those the numbers. Pretty cool, I love this. Okay, so the way to the secret picnic spot is through Lover's Lane. So let's go check it out. Oh, now this is a nice spot very 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 nice view of Kai Mouth and also you have your dry facilities Sion, <laughs> are you tired again? Oh. Not really. Oh. Not really. <laughs> bah. Okay guys, so we are now at the last stop for today. So this is actually a craft brewery. It's somewhere between Morgan's Bay and East London. We've heard from my other brother-in-law that it's a really, really nice um, brewery and a nice place to just sit and taste some crafty beers. Speaking American here, crafty beers. Um, but yeah, let's go check it out. It's like that. Got 
some AVs here. It stands for fermentation vessel. Uh, it's a lot smaller than uh, SAV. So we're here today with Chris. He's from Emerald Vale. Am I pronouncing it correctly, That's right? Great. Yeah. So he's the owner. His name is Chris. Um, yeah. Please tell us what do you, what do you guys brew? What do you guys do? All right. Well, we we started about uh, ten years ago. And initially, I, I made just one beer, which is this one, uh, Blonde Ale. Or yes. Ale. And it took me a while to get this right. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, eventually, then I went on to the, this one over here, which is our Gold Ale, uh, Sashia mm -hmm. Irish Red. Uh, I, I didn't know about classifications of beer. Yeah, uh, you just, uh, I, I just, yeah. I just called them as the colours were. Yeah, until all right, some, that's some, it. Some, somebody said to me, but this is not a, not a pale ale, this is a blonde ale. And this is a, a red ale, and, and a, actually a pale ale. <laughs> so anyway, so this is um, uh, Irish red, or your, your pale ale. Uh, this is my um, English brown ale, which I call amber, and that's purely because of the the amber color so i i have a question yeah. how do you how do you get it so dark so from my background like mm -hmm. if they use darker malt so i don't know what do you use to to brew no, well I, I i only use two malts and okay. it's a, it's a, it's the pale and the the dark roasted malt ah, okay so okay. those are the only two malts that i use and um uh so this has got no dark malt in uh, this has got one percent. Oh, I see. That's got three uh, percent, and this has got a whopping twenty percent. Twenty percent. So this yeah. is our our start. That all, yeah. All, so it's our American sweet start. Yeah. That's why it's a bit sweeter than normal. Okay. Beer. I'm so curious. So, yeah. So what's unique yeah. about these beers? We only use rainwater. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. And uh, our rainwater is very, very good. Uh, but that's another reason why we use rainwater. Is there is no other water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> so easy. Um, you have to unfortunately, easy. we are in mm. this, this area. The beers are very low carbonation, sitting at about uh, one bar. So very, very low yeah, carbonation. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't make fizzy beer. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so uh, you drink them yeah. according to uh, the color. This is okay. yeah, more powerful, unless you've got an IPA. I, I did make an IPA, but I've, I've dropped that because of the the costs of, of the, the grain and the cost okay. of, the, of the hops. So I've dropped the IPA. I do have a, a Pilsner, which is our only lager that we do. Uh, that's also on tap there as well. Okay. Um, about a year, yeah. the restaurant started. Oh wow! Okay. okay. That, yeah. that, that was started by Petra. Petra Trunk and Pulse. She, 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 they, they joined us. And she's, oh, okay. She's okay. Austrian uh, origin, okay. and she just loves her food and uh, yeah. stuff. So, so we try and combine the beer with the with the food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's so, pretty cool. Just yeah. cold filtered. Mm. Uh, and uh, we don't pasteurize it yet, so it's a yeah. Totally, okay, you gotta, you gotta yeah. watch it. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. Wow, okay, so, uh, we're very specific about which uh, roof sheeting we use on any, uh, okay. any extension yeah. or anything. We've got to use galvanized zinc. Sheet. So the, the zinc, uh, when we tested our water, mm. uh, we, we were noticing that there was, you know, because we wanted to design a beer yeah. that around the water and um, uh, or add nutrients into our mm. water to, to, to assist there with the fermentation. But we saw, I mean, zinc is a very important uh, element for yes. fermentation. Yes. Uh, and there were perfect amounts of zinc in our water, so yeah. it was obviously coming from the roof sheeting. Yeah. The last one is the uh, dark ale. Okay. Oh, there's lots of black uh, malt no, in there. Lots of, this is, uh, is, oh, is going to do nothing for your yeah. figure. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Right. Uh, what do you think? No, it's very dark. Let's see. It's not everybody's cup of tea because it mm. tastes like coffee. Thanks a lot, Chris. I really yeah. appreciate yeah, no, it. No, yeah. Thank you very much. And thanks for visiting us. Yeah, anytime. Yeah. We decided to get the gold ale. This was our favorite, but the beer is really good yeah. and. It's such an awesome place to come and the nature is amazing. The views from this brewery, the food is amazing as well. We highly recommend you come to the Emerald Vale Brewery to check it out and taste their beer. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of um, a good tips for visiting Morgan's Bay and the surrounding area. Yeah, if you like this kind of content, guys, <laughs> Please consider subscribing and give it a like and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>